What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this earthquake effect inside of After Effects. Now the first thing we want to go ahead and do is 3D tracker footage here. So select your footage and then go up to the tracker and select track camera. Now you should have all of these different points here that you can go ahead and select. And if you don't have these points and your tracker says something like it failed, you might have to mess with the shot type here and change it from fixed angle view to variable zoom. And that should fix your problem. Now let's go ahead and select a few points here on the car right click and hit create Nolan camera. Now let's go ahead and duplicate our bottom layer here with the footage. So hit control D and we can just delete this 3D camera tracker on that new footage. And let's go up to the pen tool and create a pretty rough mask around the car here because we're going to constant wear fill this. So it doesn't have to be exactly around the car. Now, if you hit M, it will open up the mask here and we can right click this and hit track mask. And let's just go ahead and analyze that forward and let's bring this to subtract and now as you can see if you toggle off your bottom layer we now have a black solid around the car here so let's now go up to the content aware fill and pretty much just copy the settings i have here these seem to work pretty well for me so let's go ahead and hit generate fill layer all right so that just got done so now you can see we have our content aware fill here and it doesn't look too good as you can see it kind of morphs the fence around here and i don't know has some weird artifacts here from the road i think so not ideal but we can work with it and it should work for this let's now go ahead and duplicate that bottom layer that we originally created at the very start so hit ctrl d bring this all the way to the top and we can toggle this back on once again just to delete the camera tracker and i'm going to rename this to our car here so this is the car that we're going to be rotoscoping out here so just go up to the rotoscope here or the roto brush and then select your layer and then just create an outline and just create an outline around your car here facing up some of the edges and then make sure your outline looks clean all the way through the frames here so just go kind of skim through them and it should look pretty clean especially if you're using the new rotor brush version 3.0 this does a super good job so once that's done we can go ahead and freeze it so the rotor brush doesn't move around later on while we're editing we can now close that layer and now we're back in our main composition and i'm actually going to go ahead and hide this car layer for a few seconds so i can go ahead and add in our earthquake now i'm just going to be using this green screen footage of this ground breaking here you can find similar stuff like this on youtube but i'll also have this link down in the description below where you can go ahead and download it and it is pretty slow so i'm going to go ahead and speed it up if you right click this and go to time and time stretch you can change the percentage here so i'm going to make it like 40 percent and that looks a lot better now let's use this pick whip right here and parent it to our track null that we created earlier and then toggle on the 3d cube right here for this layer and you can see it's tracked to that point that we created earlier but obviously we don't want it to be just floating in the middle of our screen here so we're gonna have to move it around a little bit so on this green screen footage we're just gonna have to scale it up a little bit and then kind of move it around on our screen here let's also open up the rotation by hitting r and rotate this around so it's flat on the ground here as you can see it's kind of still floating on the ground here so you're just going to have to mess with this and it's going to be different for your footage so try to get it as clean as possible and whatever looks the most realistic but it might take some time to kind of mess with until you get kind of the result you're looking for now i'm going to go into the effects and presets here and search up key and it should be yeah key light here so let's go ahead and bring this onto our green screen footage and just use this little color droplet thing and select the green footage now you can see we have that effect here and it looks a little bit like too high up here so i'm just going to bring it down and there we go i think that looks a little bit better now let's bring this green screen layer below our car layer here and we can toggle back on our car now you can see we're pretty much almost done with this effect all we have to do now is animate the car to fall through the ground here but as you can see when you move the car down it actually doesn't go through the hole it just stays on top of the footage so the way to kind of go around this is just pre-composing all the layers here besides your car right click and hit pre-compose and we're just going to duplicate this layer and bring it on top of the car and let's go kind of in the middle here where we can see the actual ground breaking and go back into the pen tool and you just want to select the bottom half of the footage here or i guess the bottom half of this earthquake where the car would be falling into the ground and the mask looks pretty good towards the middle here but towards the start kind of covers up the car so i'm going to hit m to bring up the mask path here and let's set a keyframe around the middle where it looks pretty good so around here and let's go to the start and i'm just going to select all these points here and drag them down so it's not covering the car here and there we go now the last thing i'm going to apply to this layer is luma key so bring on luma key onto that layer and make sure it is on key out darker let's just bring the threshold up to like 15. now when you move the position of your car you should see it now going underneath the ground so that's kind of the effect we're going for and as you can see it looks pretty cool but we're going to go ahead and actually animate this to fall through the ground so starting around here where the ground is starting to break let's just hit a keyframe for the position here then go to the very end and let's just move this down 
So it's all the way through the ground here. We can also do the same for the rotation. So hitting R brings up the rotation and we can kind of rotate the car. So it falls kind of like this. Let's make that end keyframe at the very end as well. So now we have that animation of the car falling down the hole and you can keep this if you want, but I'm just gonna kind of smoothen it out a little bit by going into the graph here. So selecting the position keyframes, let's just hit F9 and open up the graph. And if you don't have this graph, you wanna make sure that you right click it and have auto select graph type enabled. But now let's just bring these points kind of towards the end here where the ground kind of starts to break. And as you can see, that looks a lot better from the original linear keyframes we had before. So I definitely recommend messing with the graph editor. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this effect. You can add some screen shake while the ground is kind of breaking here. It's up to you if you want to do that and kind of the style of your edit you're going for. But if this video helped and if you guys enjoyed this effect, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.